and tell us that we are the beloved. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior in this place, the altar of God is open. The front of the church is here. The door of heaven is open towards you. Because he has completed the work necessary for your salvation. And you need not struggle and wrestle with sin any longer. For grace is available. And God is listening. If you can just open up your heart to receive him, he will come in and dwell. Yes, hallelujah. He's not into being a part-time lover. But he desires to live and inhabit. That's right. And every now and again, the only thing he needs is a praise. Yeah. 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 We praise him. Yeah. Oh. See, that's why this couldn't oh. end Mother Whale oh. just oh. like that. Oh. 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 Because somebody recognized that he finished it. Yeah. And decided to praise yeah. him in it. Yeah. Even oh. though for you it wasn't over, yeah. it was finished. It was finished. already preached. It doesn't have to be over for it to be finished. It is finished. If you're here, you know you need Jesus. And in this atmosphere, just slip your hand up right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. I'll come out and get you. I'll come out and get you. I'll come out and get you. Come out and get you. If there's anybody, anybody, anybody who needs Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. He loves you too much. He, he didn't just simply wake you up, but he brought you this way. You don't have to go back the same way you came if you don't know it. He's here for you. He came to 42 generations in order to let you know that there was nothing. There's not a problem that he can't fix. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, we thank you for an atmosphere where you decided to manifest your glory. We thank you for blessing us by showing yourself up in this little house on the pipe in an evening service with a bunch of crazy people who thought Going to church was going to be an all right idea. Thank you for loving us enough, for coming and blessing us with your glory. May your name be praised. In Jesus' name, amen. You may have your seat in this place. Now that my official pastoral business is done, can we talk? I don't get weeks off when you have been privileged and blessed to be called to the insane task of ministry. And you then in turn hear a call to start a ministry. You are doubly crazy. <laughs> so one of the things that occurs is that I don't get many weekends off. Right. And since I don't get the weekends off, what that means is that all week long, there are twists and turns designed in order to prepare properly for the weekend. Not a complaint, for it is an honor and a joy. But this week, I had off. And, and I was able to take off because I knew who God was sending in the house. All day long, we have been blessed. We have been tremendously blessed. And, and, and in BKFC, y'all know that that but I love y'all too much just to throw anything in front of you. Thank you, Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I, I honor the, this 
responsibility that has been set before me well too high to just allow you to go out now and nutrition. I don't want none of my folks looking like they need to eat. Like you need a sandwich. Like you need a sandwich. Like you're you're going to faint somewhere out there. Somebody had to take mercy and pity on you and do a private Bible study sometime during the week because you just look like your spirit was about to faint. But I knew coming in this week, man, early this morning we were blessed to be able to be slow walk through the gospel by the professor. And and if, if I had any sense, you know, most people would have put the the rapid fire in the morning <laughs> so that you could recover. But I knew through the Spirit of God that if you had gotten shot up like you just got shot up, <laughs> you might not have been able to make it back. <laughs> right, so we had to soothe you in yeah. theologically this morning yes. in order to kind of numb you. Yeah. <laughs> Only for you to die a polecat's death tonight. <laughs> From a theologically sound Amen. message on Christ. Thanks, Lord. I got to tell you, quite honestly, as I was sitting there, I, I guess for me, I just kept seeing Nitty Washington. <laughs> Ain't it true? See, now, now, now. It, for, for many of y'all, y'all don't know her yet. But you've seen her. If you've seen Carly, you've seen Minnie. And, and just so that you know, Minnie Washington is the mother. She keeps all of us together. And if you don't bring Jesus into the conversation, all right, all right, all right. you might as well not talk. <laughs> it is not the gospel, and she will shut you down. That's right. That's right. I'm just trying to let y'all know how I grew up, you see. That's right. Because this wonderful, blessed privilege that is ours, called New Vision Kingdom Life Center, as Carmi said, is a composite mixture of the old and the young. For none of us have a monopoly on what God is doing. But we do have a responsibility to do it His way. And I thank God that He could merge what He's done this day. Carmen, you blessed me so can you all put your hands together? For the blessing of God. That is. All right. I just had to get that out personally. It is now the time of our worship encounter where we get the opportunity to worship corporately together through offering. It's offering time. It's offering time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Here at New Vision Kingdom Life Center, we give because the Bible says give and it will what? Come back to you in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men pour into your laps. With the measure that you use, it shall come back to you. So give with a cheerful heart. Because when you give cheerfully, Know that God brings it back to you. Yes, it is a seed that we sow, not a debt that we owe. That's right. That's right. We can't pay God for what he's done. So that's not what offering is about. Anytime you sow a seed in the ground, it's always about a harvest that is to come. So you can't go back and fix nothing. That's what redemption was for. All right. Amen. He already finished that. But you can so in order to see what it is that God desires for Amen. us Amen. to achieve for his glory. So if you need a giving envelope, you'll let one of our ministry technicians know. They have the beautiful flowers on their, on their shoulders. Uh, so that way they can make sure they give you a giving envelope. So in that way, 
Like you don't have to have your chains just rattling around in the basket. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a silent offering. Some of the old saints know what that means. This is an offering that can get wrinkled. And once you have your giving envelopes, once you have your offering prepared, we're going to go around the sanctuary. We have some good giving, good music. Let's get ready to give. All right.